Let's jump into what you can expect on zero taxes, zero fees. In some ways, it's easier to explain what you will not see on this channel. It'll be like a personal finance murder mystery. Let's start by ruling out the usual suspects so we can get to the good stuff. I've always been interested in money and really enjoyed reading personal finance books, websites, and blogs when I was younger. YouTube was still in its earliest days and streaming video online was not common. I know, I know, I'm a total dinosaur. I did learn a lot from these resources, but eventually I hit a plateau. I got really tired of reading about how to pay off debt, juggle credit card balances, clip coupons, make a budget, and a million other things that no longer or never did apply to my situation. I will not be covering the basics in personal finance. If you have credit card debt, pay it off. It really is that simple, and there are many strategies and resources out there on how to do it. Just pick one and do it until you're debt free, then build an emergency fund and invest your money. If you're still in the stage where you're struggling to manage your money, save, and invest, reach out to me or leave a comment below. I'd be happy to recommend a book or two that can help you level up. I may retire early, but I don't subscribe to the financial independence, retire early, or FIRE philosophy. There's a lot to like about FIRE, especially the financial independence part of it, but I already sacrifice too much enjoyment in life to save even more aggressively. Always remember, tomorrow is promised to no one. My life would not be better if I relentlessly focused on cutting costs to be free of my 9-to-5 job faster. I'm also concerned with how low of a financial target some FIRE followers set before retiring. Some practitioners don't seem to be taking into account healthcare costs and inflation. It pains me, but I won't be covering travel hacking or credit card points on this channel. I love to travel, and I've been to over 50 countries. I also love me some juicy credit card reward points, and have redeemed some for amazing experiences. But these topics are already extensively covered by others, and they will not get me any closer to achieving my financial goals. Life insurance is another area I have no interest in covering. I don't have it, I don't need it, and I don't want it. I have a basic life insurance policy that was included in my benefits and paid by the company I work for. If I did not have the resources to self-insure, then a policy might make sense, but even without my work-life insurance, my personal assets will easily take care of my loved ones when I'm gone. Whole life insurance also comes up a lot in wealth creation resources, especially books written by CFPs. Although I've not had the time to do my own in-depth analysis, on the surface it seems very scammy and at a minimum heavily violates the no-fee ideal I'm working towards. There will also not be a lot of emphasis on cutting costs to save money. If I find a non-obvious way to materially cut costs or improve my life, I may share that, but you won't see me doing van life, living in a tiny home, or anything else that does not improve or maintain my standard of living. Although I can't guarantee tiny cabins and maybe even a houseboat won't make an appearance at some point. I also don't do any magic tricks, but I have made money disappear while investing. Speaking of money disappearing, let's talk about crypto and things you may occasionally see on this channel. You might see crypto covered sporadically on this channel, but before you roll your eyes, allow me to explain. I think the blockchain is an interesting and useful innovation. I think it makes sense to own a small amount of Ether and Bitcoin. The industry is still overhyped but that does not mean there isn't long-term value in the technology. I basically view Bitcoin and Ether as a high-risk technology stock. Blockchain businesses seem like the dot-com companies in the 1990s. There's likely an Amazon or two out there, but there are thousands more geocities. I've almost certainly lost what little crypto I did own through the FTX fiasco. My crypto was not with FTX, but the company I kept my crypto with had exposure to FTX. If that money's gone, I'm not losing any sleep over it. Crypto makes up less than a percent of my portfolio, probably even 0% right now. The amount of coverage devoted to crypto here will match its small significance to my portfolio. When I do talk about it, it'll be Ether or Bitcoin, not crypto kitties and unicorn swaps. Seriously, those two examples are actually real things. One trend I'm seeing in personal finance and investing circles lately is having a second passport or citizenship. I do have a second passport because I'm a naturalized U.S. citizen, and I firmly believe that one should move to where they will be able to live their best life. That being said, I humbly live in the best country on earth, and I don't see what value a Turkish passport would add to my life. But it is never good to have all your eggs in one basket, and investing in emerging markets is an area of interest for me.
When it comes to credit cards, I love them. Whether it offers an interesting reward, has a great perk, or even just a cool design, I want it. I treat my credit cards like a debit card. In fact, I'm so paranoid about paying credit card interest that I'm that guy who pays his balance off four to six times a month. But this channel is not about what credit card you or I should buy. I might occasionally share when I pick up a new card, why I have a certain card, or how I get value from my cards. Rest easy though, despite my love of credit cards, this channel is not going to turn into Nerd Wallet. Finally, what you will see on this channel. I will be sharing my personal philosophy on investing. Between the welcome video and this one, you've already been fed a giant spoonful of it. I hope you like the taste. The strategies and tactics I learn about, test, and deploy will also make up a good portion of this channel's content. Hint, hint, it involves minimizing taxes and fees. Zero fee investing will be covered extensively, and I'll have an entire video on how to invest with zero fees. Legally lowering and deferring taxes is a major focus area as well. I took an accounting course in college, I think I got a C in it, so you'll want to run any ideas you pick up from this channel by a real accountant. I'll also share the mistakes I've made and the lessons I've learned, investment opportunities I'm evaluating, and the investments I make in stocks, real estate, small businesses, and alternative investments. Does this sound exciting, or would you rather audit that college accounting class? If there's something interesting you'd like to see in the channel, drop a comment below or let me know the weirdest crypto project name you've come across and how it made your second cousin's best friend rich.